knitting machine. So I just got this one right here um, and it is pretty dirty on the inside. So we're gonna walk through cleaning it. Here's what I use. I use Simple Green and let's zoom in so you can see the Simple Green gun cleaner, toothbrush, bunch of Q-tips and a bar a towel or two. So let's get started. Now to start, I use Simple Green. It's safe for plastic, and I don't spray it onto the actual machine. I'm gonna sp spray a generous amount onto my rag, my bar towel, and I'm just going to work on all the plastic pieces to get all the gunk off. And if there's parts in there that are really dirty, like I know inside this lamp, it's gonna be really dirty. So I will saturate a Q-tip and go around that real well. So I'll finish that and then we'll open it up. All right, so I opened it up and the first thing I'm gonna do is just take everything out. And to get this one out, you push this up and that will release it. So everything's out of there. Oh no, I forgot one thing. Guide rails. Got everything out of the lid. Now I wanna get everything out of this little compartment here and take the carriage off. And the carriage is hooked with a, a tool right here. Just unscrew it. And it comes out of a little hole that's right here. I'm going to take the carriage off and all the tools and accessories out as well. And I want to clean the inside of all of this. Now it's ready for me to do a good cleaning. So again, just like the outside, I'm gonna spray my bar towel with the simple green. And I'm gonna start by cleaning off all the surface areas, the metal and the plastic. And this is where a toothbrush and Q-tips come in handy because they can really get into those hidden spots. So I've cleaned off all the old oil and debris and dirt off the surface of the, mach of the machine. Don't forget to clean this right here. So this pops right out. And it can get really grimy and gross. And just like we did before, I'm gonna spray onto my rag. And for this, I'm going to run it down the entire length of this strip. Now, while this is bare and open, I'm also going to run my bar towel carefully down here, clean up the debris in the front. Perfect. And now is a good time if you want to take a vacuum and you can run a vacuum right along this bed right here to get out any extra fuzz or residue. But this machine looks pretty good. So I'm gonna insert this back in under the needles. So 
So I can tell already by how much play there is on pushing down these needles, that this is gonna need a new sponge bar. So let's take out the old one and put in a new one. So on the side right here is where the sponge bar goes. You can see the little knob that's sticking out. That is the sponge bar. So I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver and push that so that it pops out at the other end so I can grab it and pull it out. Old sponge bar looks like. And here is what the new sponge bar looks like. This is not going to allow you to knit on the knitting machine. You need it to be like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that so it'll make a big difference on my knitting. I put it back in the same slot and it doesn't matter which side you put it in or take it out. I'm just doing it on this side to show you. So now you want the sponge side down and the metal side up and it goes on top of the needle. So we're gonna push the needles down while we insert the sponge bar and go a little by little as we push. I'm gonna push it all the way to the very end. Now those needles don't have any give. They're laying flat up against the bed right here, which is exactly what you want. So now that everything is nice and clean, I wanna give the top of this with all of its moving parts a little bit of oil. So again, I'm gonna use the gun oil, spray it onto my cloth. I like to go over the tops of the needle butts right here and then over the guide rail. Now I'm gonna pull all the needles out. A little more oil. And I realize I'm spraying it on my machine. <laughs> and I'm gonna go right over tops of these where these little latches move just to give them a little bit of oil so that they make sure they don't freeze up. I'm going to take apart the carriage and just do a light cleaning and a light oiling. So what you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Our simple green cleaner that we've been using and this gun cleaning oil. So the first thing I'm gonna do is there are two side screws to the handle. I'm gonna take, unscrew those. and then the handle comes right off. And while I have it off, I'm going to just clean up the parts that I couldn't get to when I surface cleaned it before. Next thing is we wanna get this off. We take our flathead screwdriver and gently go under here and it will pop this little button right off. We need to take this screw out and with it will come this little disc. Now we'll start to turn this and it will pop right up and right off. So let's turn it upside down. And I'll show you up close. There are two brass screws. There's one right here and there's one right here. See those right here and right here. Those are the only two screws you need to take off 
the top. So let me unscrew those. And now the cover comes right off along with these little pieces. I'm gonna take those screws out and set them aside so they don't fall out and get lost. So what I'm gonna focus on is I want everything that moves to be moving well. So I'm just gonna spray a light dusting of this on there and with my fingers I'm going to move and wiggle every little part that moves. To try to get all the little joints lubricated on this machine. Just feel around, you'll be able to tell what moves and what doesn't and what is sticky and what isn't. Now I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to push the buttons and just see if there's anything on here that while I push the buttons, if it's moving slowly or if it snaps right into position like it's supposed to. And this looks like it's working really well. So it means it's pretty well oiled and working really well. If your machine is really sticky and these buttons on the top are having a hard time moving, then you're gonna wanna do a deep clean. This is just a surface clean with a light oil. A deep clean will be a different video to watch. So this feels pretty good. So I'm gonna wipe off excess on here because all the moving parts are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Good job, little moving parts. Let's turn it over. Let's see if this turns. This turns really well. I'm going to just wipe off any excess that might have gotten through to this side just to clean it up. And try all the buttons again. Watch the moving parts here. See if anything is moving slowly. And it looks like they are all moving really well. So that's good because this carriage then doesn't need a deep cleaning. The surface cleaning is just fine. Try your knob, make sure everything turns well there and it's turning really well. So that is good news. So now that it has been lightly oiled, the parts on the back are moving, all the buttons are working. Let's assemble it back together. And while I have these all these little parts out, I'm going to just give them a quick cleaning on parts that are hard to reach. So this little part right here has a little hole in the back and it's going to fit right on this knob that moves. Let's try it out. Doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. This part right here slides on top of this. And to try to make sure she works, let's push one of the buttons in and if we push this, it should pop it back out. Perfect, push another one. Perfect, so these are in place. This knob is in place. So let's take our top and put it back on. Next, we'll assemble our knob. You can give that a quick cleaning also. Now to put this one on, you're gonna put it on and turn it with a little bit of pressure and you'll feel when it snaps down in place, just like it did. I'm gonna turn it, see how it feels. Oh, it feels great, it's turning really well. I'm gonna turn it back to zero. 
Now this one right here, this is something you have to be very deliberate about putting back on. You'll notice right here down at the bottom, it has a tiny little notch. That notch needs to go directly down straight at the zero. So I'm gonna place this on here right now, but as I screw it in, it could get, it could move around. So I'm gonna screw it, get it to where it's not quite tight, turn it with my finger so that it is directly down over the zero. You can also have it at one or have it at two. Just You just want your number directly down and that little notch right over the top of it. And the reason is this right here, where this marker is, this will slide right into that little notch. That way, it will point at the number that it's supposed to point at. And it looks like it went on exactly right. So let's put the handle back on. I find it easiest to assemble the handle with it down rather than up. right in. Same with the other side. Perfect. Let's turn it over and we'll put those brass screws right back into the spots. Pretty simple for nice light cleaning. I'm gonna put the carriage onto the machine and let's take a look and see how it works. Let's slide this on and see how it feels. Oh man, it slides so, so well really really smooth let me pull out some needles and see how that works it's perfect this machine is ready to rock and roll